YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be building a or making a custom crop tutorial for M Creator. This is an updated version of my original cr custom crops thing. Um, for the most part, it works completely fine. You still can't place it on farmland, which sucks. So make your own, I guess. Outside of that, um, I have a few files up here. Um, that you can download if you wish and get a custom model for BDCraft and um, it has also all the files and stuff that I have for um, that I'm working on um, in this tutorial so there's the yeah so we'll just get into it first thing that you want to do is um, if you're working with your own model and stuff like that or anything else uh, you're going to want to open up BBD craft uh, select launch light and you should get this little window type thing here uh, go to file open and you want to go to your directory that I um, the BD craft folder and select the crop the crops um, save open it'll give you this little warning two textures whatever who cares um now what you want to do is go to edit properties and you want to call it the same thing as your first stage so for instance we have hops hops uh, underscore stage underscore zero oops, zero for image and then click OK go to tools material manager and select read one which was originally the first <laughs> recording that I was going to do before I messed up on the thing anyhow um, just go to your lo texture location or whatever for your first stage, select it. And now that's good. Um, all the UV mapping and everything like that is all perfectly laid out, so you don't need to worry about messing around with the UV mapping or anything. So just go export and leave the name as the same. And it should be the same as your texture and hit save I don't know where it saved it to but um, we have the files anyways so I'll see you in uh, the next stage so assuming that you have all your stages done and you have every single stage of your um, JSON file that you needed that I just showed you how to do uh, you can move on to making a new block uh, call it your mod name or whatever you've been naming it. So I'm going to just call it Northwest Trees and then Pops Stage A. Now you can't use numbers, so just use alphabet in replace of numbers and click OK. Uh, you want to select the little red box down here. And I already have the textures imported, so the, these textures are the same as the ones that you used in your JSON file, the UV map. So the first stage, and then select custom under block render type, and select JSON file for the model type, and then import the JSON file, your first stage and select the texture that you used in the um, JSON file and you should be good to go. Just make sure that you change this to translucent and click next. Give it a name, hops, plant. Um, you want to set this to zero, zero, one, stick it in some type of, I don't know, um, creative tab and we'll get to the custom drop thing in a sec do that a little bit later and then you want to select plants and plant and make it so it's not collidable and that's all you need to do 
So do that for every other um, stage, and I'll see you back in a sec. All right, so now that you have your blocks in place, what you want to do is import your seed textures and your item texture that you want them to be able to harvest. And those are already imported, so all we need to do is create the seeds. So Northwest Trees and Pops Seeds and select Item, select OK, select your texture and click Next, give it a name. And select um, can drop as grass seed. Set this to whatever you want. I'm going to set it to 10 because it's equal to uh, what um, wheat seed is. And next, next, and next. And finally, we need to either create a food group, which um, I'll leave up to you because that's pretty easy to do, or you can create an item kind of uh, crop, which is more similar to wheat. Uh, food is more similar to carrots and potatoes. So we're going to select um, item. We're going to go northwest trees. Pops item and click OK. Select the texture. And then what you want to do is give it a name and select next, 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 and that's the importing of all the components and we're going to move on to the next step which is kind of programming them all in that was weird um, programming them all into with the events and stuff like that so I'll see you in a sec so the first thing you want to do is edit your first stage and you want to go and select uh, doesn't drop itself and select your mods tab select your seeds that you imported and next 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 until you get to the events page you want to click on update tick and then you want to scroll down until you see stack event and then you want to um, create stack event you want to do um, remove block and in all cases and before we I forget you want to set the in all cases to um, random possibility and set it to something like 0 0.01 that's yeah that's proper all right 0 0.01 and then you want to add another event and add block and then for the condition you want to set block equal a block at equal um, to error so now we're going to be basically making sure that there is error where the block was removed and then select the thing that you want to add I'm going to use stage 2 because that's the next stage and click add event now basically what's going on here is there's a random possibility um, for it to remove to basically execute these two steps so the first step is to remove the block and then it will basically keep trying to add the block until that block is um, turned to completely air uh, this prevents um, it rolling back the stages um, if the player exits, exits out of the save uh, or whatever. Um, generally, if you just add block without a condition to check for error, then it will um, roll back all your crops and stuff. So. All right, so click Add Event, and that's all you need to do for the first and second stage or any stages between. And I'll see you back when you uh, get to the last uh, stage for the um, the events. 
So we're on the last stage now. And what you want to do is select the seeds uh, that you created, just like the first step. And you want to go to advance. And rather than creating an update tick, because we're on the last stage, we don't need to do that. We need to basically detect when a player destroys the block or something destroys the block and uh, to give a um, an item. So what we need to do is create two events on the last stage, uh, when block destroyed by player and when block destroyed by explosion. So when we go into the event thing, what we need to do is create a stack event, leave this into in, in case or in all cases, select that, and then what you want to do is go down to uh, spawn gem and leave it to uh, in case or in all cases, and select your item that you are dropping and add event. Now, the reason why we created a stack event is if you want it to drop things like potatoes, how they have a chance of dropping anywhere from one to like three or whatever, then what you can do is create another event and go stack event or spawn gem and then you want random oop, and you want to select for condition random possibility and say like 50% or something like that and then you want to select your lead again or whatever your um, item is that you're dropping and click event and now basically what this will do if uh, a player destroys it it will always drop one item but there is also a chance a 50 percent chance that it might drop a second item and click add event and do the same for this one so stack event uh, in all cases uh, spawn gem in all cases your item Add event, create a new event. Uh, you want random possibility, uh, spawn gem, and your mod, your item, and add event, add event, and that's all that you need to do for the blocks. And just hit next and compile everything. Um, now that we're done with the block part, we need to program in the seeds and then that's pretty much the last thing we need to do. So um, we're going to be working in the when right clicked on block um, hand location event. So click add, uh, add event and what we want is a stack event and then you want to create um, a condition if block equals and then what you would do is you'd select your farmland block or whatever block you want it to actually grow on or be placed on to grow uh, for this instance I'm going to use dirt because you can use coarse dirt or um, puzzle or whatever it is because it's a variant um, I would suggest making your own farmland block or something like that for your mod. And then what you want is to um, add block. And then you want to, I think that's what I do, maybe. No, you want to leave this to in case all, in all cases. Sorry about that. Just in all cases for that one, and then you want to add block, and then you want to um, block equals, and select your block, because this will only place the block um, uh, your first stage. So it will only place your first stage if it's on dirt. So that's what you want. Um, in all cases, and then you want to create a condition for if block equals and this time you want to test for um, your first stage so 
and you want to consume item in inventory and then select your seeds. So what it's doing right now is every time a player clicks, because it's in all, in all cases, it will test to see if they're clicking on dirt. And if they're clicking on dirt, it will add your first stage. Now, once it executes that, it's going to check to see if a player or if that block has um, the first stage of crops, and if so, it consumes the items that consumes the seeds. Um, so that's all you need to do for setting up the seeds. It's pretty straightforward. Just hit that and compile everything, and you're good to go. Um, now, as far as speeding, slowing down the tick rate and everything like that for the actual um, blocks and stuff like that, you would basically adjust the um, random possibility for the um, the what do you call it the you know what we set for the blocks. So the higher or the lower the number for the like 0 0.01, 0 0.001 is going to make the t upgrade, like the update tick for the actual crops longer. And it's again, it's only, it's random. So it's not always going to be the same amount of time. Uh, it's exactly like how regular, um, like weed or potatoes grow it's not actually based on the tick rate it's uh, based on the uh, how random it is so um, without that um, basically just go in game and test it I know it works already so I'm not going to bother doing that I'm trying to keep this video short um, I'll leave all the files and stuff up here uh, for you to download if you want and play around with it as well as the workspace um, now for that you um, have to be on the same version that I'm using just to test it and see if everything works. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you can use it in future versions or past versions of Amcrater. Uh, sometimes they run into problems and stuff like that so use at your own, uh, your own risk. Um, as long as you follow the tutorial you should be fine for um, setting up your crops and stuff like that. I think it's pretty straightforward. You probably do not need to update it again um, outside of that because the BDCraft uh, model or program has been in here for a while. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's some more videos right on the screen right now that you can click. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.